Nominated for seven Academy Awards, including Best Picture, this action thriller from director Andrew Davis was a massive success, earning $368 million against its $44 million budget. Released in August of 1993, the PG-13 rated story is based on the acclaimed 1960s television series of the same name, which follows a man unjustly accused of murdering his wife who must find the real killer while evading a nationwide manhunt. Harrison Ford stars as the title character, a warm and gentle doctor who is forced to survive far outside his comfort zone, constantly looking over his shoulder at a pursuing U.S. Marshal, played by Tommy Lee Jones. Balancing determination with fear perfectly, this is easily one of the strongest performances in Ford's storied career, expertly handling both the dramatic beats as well as the high-stakes action. Are you suggesting that I killed my wife? Are you saying that I crushed her skull and that I shot her? How dare you? Nothing. When I came home, there was a man in my house. I fought with this man. Uh -huh. He had a mechanical arm. Plastic you find this man. You find this man. How tall is he? he How tall everything is he? from me. Oh, Jesus. What, what do you weigh? God! What color was his hair? What color were his eyes? But what makes his dilemma so compelling, besides his obvious innocence, is his willingness to help others, even when he's on the run. Never more than two steps behind, Jones is fantastic as the quick-thinking and relentless lawman tasked with tracking him down. He rattles off a host of marching orders to his troops without missing a beat, and his appropriately easygoing yet serious attitude rightly scored him an Oscar for Best Supporting Actor. Sadly, however, of its seven nominations, TLJ's trophy was the only one the fugitive took home that year. When Ford confesses in a tense standoff that he didn't kill his wife, Jones responds, I don't care. This adversarial yet respectful relationship between these two men makes for an intriguing backdrop to the story. As a result, however, the supporting cast is mostly underutilized, but does include great work from Joe Pantoliano, Andreas Katsoulis, Joran Krabbe, and early appearances by Julianne Moore and Jane Lynch. The centerpiece sequence that kicks off the film sees Ford narrowly escaping his prison transport bus just as a locomotive crashes into it. Davis crashed an actual full-scale train for this scene, and it results in an incredibly tense and realistic moment that is perhaps the film's most memorable. Even at a lengthy 130 minutes, this is an expertly paced experience that moves briskly. Cinematographer Michael Chapman makes great use of the Chicago locations by framing the action with wide, steady cam shots. A low, ominous score from James Newton Howard hangs over the film, which even manages to make a scene of Ford hardly shaving his beard exciting and tense. This is a believably handled chase movie that never disrespects the audience's intelligence, and the payoffs during the final act are that much more rewarding because of it. A captivating film no matter how many times you watch, The Fugitive is a taut and suspenseful script with excellent performances. And here are some of your thoughts on it. A double nine for The Fugitive. You love the suspense and acting, scoring this an awesome, and I completely agree.